Remove the stock windshield from the stock bodywork. Save the two brackets that the dash bolt to. You'll open up the holes in the windshield to six mil, put them on with nuts and bolts. Test fit the windshield into your bodywork. Make sure it fits the opening properly. If it doesn't, you can use a file and sandpaper to clean it up. Go in behind and drill your, bolt, uh, drill your holes. So now on the inside, you'll see where the stock windshield had uh, around the front birdcage of the motorcycle. I'll use that as a reference to drill the holes to mount the bodywork to the bike. Center your drill. And drill your holes. Your bodywork's gonna bolt onto the bike here, so drill your center and drill your holes here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and test for the bodywork, but before we do, it's gonna be easier to relocate your holes for the frame sliders, so remove them for the test fit. Go ahead and slide the bodywork over the motorcycle. Okay, a couple of bolts in the front. This is where your mirrors had bolted earlier. So this is the test fit of the bodywork. We've bolted in four places, two in the front, one on each side in the back. Check to see how all your lines fit. If you don't like the fitment, you can clean it up with a file and sandpaper. So now that we've got it bolted in, we're gonna mark for our frame sliders. Now the trick that I found is removing the frame sliders, of course, get a pen that will fit in the hole, get in behind the bodywork, and place the pen in the hole for the motor mount and draw on your bodywork to reference for drilling the frame sliders and do both sides. So now that we've got our holes marked for the frame sliders, we're gonna go ahead and drill. We're gonna use a two inch hole saw and uh... Okay, Colin, so I'm just gonna tip it on the side, hold that. Gonna make a pilot hole first in both of them. Okay, now the tricky part. Actually. Now this you're gonna wanna be real slow because this bit is gonna bite in like crazy. Okay, well our test fit went, uh, went surprisingly well. Frame sliders are in, and um, don't be afraid if you have to take it off three or four times. Um, it, it's finicky and you're gonna like the fit and finish if you take your time with this step. I normally start with the upper because it's the toughest part, it's gonna make everything easier. So we'll go ahead and remove it and we'll test fit the lower. Okay, so we're gonna test fit the lower, and the whole point of the lower is that it's one piece. If, should there be an engine failure, it's gonna hold all the oil. Unfortunately, when it rains, it's gonna hold all the water. So it's a good idea to, well, you have to put a hole in each end and get a rubber grommet to fill those holes when it's not raining. So we'll go ahead and drill for the mounting. There's four spots, two on each side, and we're gonna center in each spot. So now we've got our four holes drilled, we'll test fit the lower. So we put all four bolts in the lower, it fits, 
So you just want to double check to make sure there's clearance around the exhaust pipe, the rear linkage, and check the other side for clearance on the chain. Looks good. Now we're going to fit the tail section. Okay, so to fit the tail, install the seat back on and now uh, we'll drill the four holes that mount the tail section. Once again, centering in the spots that are precast in the fiberglass. Now that we've test fit the tail section, you're happy with the fitment, bolt everything back on the bike and just take a look. Once you're happy with the way it fits, as an option you can remove it and have it painted.